In this video, I will explain and demonstrate the Node.js module definition pattern. I have three key points of information that I'll review before looking at some code examples. So we'll start uh, by going over the definitions. Number one, modules are the bricks for structuring and modularizing applications. So the module system in Node.js is a mechanism for loading dependencies and also a tool for defining APIs. The, the ultimate aim is to maximize information hiding and code reuse. So it, it provides a way in which we don't pollute the uh, global namespace. Number two, modules are easy to create. In fact, they are much simpler than the technique that we would use in JavaScript, which is referred to as the revealing module pattern. And I'll, for those of you that aren't familiar with that uh, technique, I'll demonstrate it uh, shortly. So Node.js uh, predefines a, uh, an object named module that has a property called exports that refers initially to an empty object. And for convenience, they also provide an alias named exports that also refers back to that module.exports object. So we can effectively use them uh, interchangeably. Number three, oh, one important piece here is the code is hidden unless explicitly marked as exported in our uh, module, which I'll show you in our uh, upcoming demonstration. And number three, finally, we have uh, modules are easy to reuse. So we import modules using the require function, passing in the name of the module or the name of the a file without the JavaScript extension. So that means that if we are using a, a, a module that we've installed using the node package manager, NPM, we simply have to pass in to the require function the name of the module and then use the uh, returned value in our code. Or if we have a local file that we've defined, we have to, in that case, uh, specify its location. So you specify its path and uh, then the name of the file. But uh, don't, don't specify the extension uh, .js. So with that said, let's take a look at uh, a couple of the uh, code examples that I have written for us. So we have this uh, first piece is why are modules important and why are they easy to use? So we'll start by looking at the revealing module pattern in uh, JavaScript. Without going into too much detail on this, uh, we have the technique that is commonly used in JavaScript for enforcing encapsulation that relies upon uh, what's known as an iffy, <laughs> immediately invoked function expression. And so we, we, a user would create a function, wrap up all of the uh, hidden data, and then return either a function or an object uh, immediately during execution of the script. So you don't have to explicitly call the function yourself, it's called for you as the uh, script is parsed. So you notice that uh, this is making the call here, these, the parentheses, open and close parentheses. So that, that says when the script executes, a uh, module is already defined with the result of the returned argument here being an object that contains a company name and the phone number. So if I want to access the name and the, the phone number, I have to refer through, I have to go through the, uh, the module variable directly to get the company name and the corresponding phone number. Let's compare that to how it would look in uh, Node.js using the Node uh, module pattern. So much easier. I have a file that contains local variables and these effectively become our our hidden variables. They're not global. They won't they won't populate up uh, uh, pollute the, the global namespace. And uh, <clears throat> to export the uh, the variables, I simply go through my module dot exports that's provided to me through Node.js. So this is the the critical piece here, the key piece, is uh, we refer back to the module object and its property called exports and replace the object with our own object. Uh, there are other approaches that, we, that could be used. Uh, this is the preferred approach. It's referred to as a single point of access. 
makes it easy for the consumer. Uh, there are other approaches that can be used as well. So one technique is known as a named export. So the named export, uh, you go directly through the module dot exports and then uh, annotate or extend that predefined object with your own properties. And because exports is an alias to module dot exports, you can uh, you know, optionally leave out the word module in this case. However, don't make the common mistake that many people make. So let's take a look at this example here where I'm saying exports equals, and I just am referring to a, a, an instance of an object. Well, this happens to look coincidentally similar to what I have here, except I don't use the word module as a prefix. Well, what you are doing in this case here is breaking the tie. So exports no longer refers to module.exports. So the consumer will return, will basically be receiving an empty object. So common mistake, wanted to make you aware of that. And now how does this, uh, how is this going to be used in the application? So I have an application that I've already written for us that uh, uses the require function in Node.js. And since it's a local uh, module, I specify its path and the name of the module is NMP. And notice that I don't have my .js extension here. And we can demonstrate the outcome by running this through the debugger. Okay, I'll expand the window here. So here's my corp object. Let me expand my corp object. And there's company name and there is phone. So anyway, that's, um, that's the, uh, the complete example. Uh, hopefully that helps you uh, get started with uh, working with uh, Node.js uh, modules. Thank you for your time.